Hey, 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 traders. Uh, I'm going to do another video here. I just, if uh, you watch this video, I, uh, I made one video on it already, but I noticed that my mic, ju there just keeps being this terrible noise on the mic, and I'm going to just try to move the mic a little bit further uh, so we don't get the feedback. So anyways, I want to talk about the uh, dollar yen today. Um, take a look at my trading on it today seven thousand one hundred and forty five dollars we go to a custom period we're gonna look at today and there you have it I just slaughtered this thing today absolutely took it to the cleaners and why did I do that um, well we're gonna talk about that in a second um, first of all this is one of those situations where order flow meets opportunity and context of geopolitical events so for any of my existing students that are watching this right now that are new with me this is something that I would not expect you to be trading so much but what I would expect you to do is just take away the micro look at it so um, when I came into the market today uh, I knew that uh, first of all I want to take a look at the bigger picture you can see we bounced off this daily chart here. We bounced off of this level. Now, I was very shocked, am still very shocked, that we've come off of this level with such a heavy, heavy bounce. Um, this, you know, I do not see us being in a risk on environment. Um, you know, this bounce is way overdone, in my opinion, as far as the uh, risk on, risk off aspect of it is concerned we are still in a, what I believe to be a very very touchy situation with with uh, geopolitical events and so I'm very shocked that we came this high um, and so that being said I woke up this morning and realized that uh, Trump was at the UN and that he was going to have a speech at around 11 o'clock and I wanted to basically position myself in this market going into that speech because it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that he was going to say shit about North Korea. That's for sure. You knew that was coming and I knew that the yen would have a reaction to that. So I really just wanted to position myself in the market as I came in and this is what I saw this morning. Big spike up and then we started to uh, press lower, press lower and this is where I started getting involved in the market, got in, and I took profits, got back in here, I took profits on this big spike down, got back in here, took profits at this liquidity down here. And this is when Trump started to talk. Now, it was around this time where um, I actually got stopped out w with a loss, I believe, on this trade here, because he did come out and say... Thank you, Donald. He came out and he said, Trump vows to threaten to totally destroy North Korea. Totally destroy North Korea. Not fire and fury. He said, I listened to it, and it, he said that if, if they do not stop immediately, they're going to totally destroy the entire country that means literally millions of innocent people would be killed unnecessarily the, the, the people in North Korea don't really have a choice oh look at that it's not funny I put this in uh, this is kind of a segue uh, <laughs> into my rant on this is that it's easier to fool people than convince them that they have been fooled the great author Mark Twain said this and I'm it's a good segue into what I'm going to discuss because you know I honestly believe that the market has completely you know I've gone through a lot of these events folks I've seen five bubbles four bubbles forgive me four bubbles in my career and I've seen it happen over and over again. I know how, not including real estate bubbles, make that six if you include real estate bubbles. So I know exactly how people behave just before something happens. And really what happens is complacency. 
people just don't believe something and it's when people don't believe it's going to happen that's when it happens that's why it's called a tragedy okay that's why it's called a tragedy so I do believe that valuations are super high right now uh, I don't think that um, I don't think that it's going to take some straw to bake, break the camel's back. Anyways, enough about that. It was just a kind of funny little post I put in there because if you take a look at the actual stock market today, you'll see that the actual stock market, um, the actual stock market is doing nothing. It's completely ignoring this total destruction of a sovereign country by another sovereign country that isn't at war with that sovereign country. <laughs> but anyway, enough said on that. Let's get back to some trading. So the reason I focus my attention on the Japanese yen, because I knew the market itself was not going to react to it. It was going to be pay more attention to um, Yellen tomorrow. And so that's why I started trading the yen. So let's get back to some trades here on the yen. So when I saw this market happening, it was really, um, it was really easy for me to know that this would be so, this is something that I wanted to pay attention with. Again, took a trade here short, took a trade here short. Uh, my students will understand what these, what the, how these mean and what they mean. A uh, little liquidity grab here, grab that short to li liquidity to liquidity. Uh, again, grabbed another short in here, grabbed another short here, and this is where I lost. Market bounce. Took a short up here after we grabbed this liquidity. That one broke even. Tried it again up here. Didn't work. Took some heat on it. Market went higher. We took out this entire liquidity level up here with a low volume tap. And then we started to press lower. Got short again, got short again, and that resulted in a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful $7,000 day. With size, folks. With size. So this was a situation that I absolutely love. Took advantage of the geopolitical uh, context took advantage of understanding order flow put all the pieces together some of my existing students that will be watching this will will understand on the micro time frame why I was doing what I was doing maybe not on the macro time frame but it's one of those situations that you get to look forward to when you become an advanced trader and when you can exploit all market conditions. This was a no-brainer, folks. I mean, it really was a no-brainer. The money couldn't have been easier to make today. Uh, you don't get days like this very often. And anyways, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy it, and bye for now. Hopefully this video won't have a bunch of um, uh, sound where I, you could a bunch of crackles. So... I remade it, and hopefully it's much better now. Anyways, thank you, and bye for now.